One thing I noticed about state control, and I went to, um, you know, I was working in getting fired at people mm -hmm. after this stuff on, just you know, grabbing a sandwich at Subway. I'm like, all right, this, this lady is just going to, like, be really super eager to make my sandwich. She's mm -hmm. going to be jumping to, uh, you know, put everything on there. So I'm like, all right, get in the state. If I was making a sandwich and I was really eager to make it, how would I feel? I just looked at her and just, like, sent it. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, normally at Subway, you tell them, like, three ingredients and they forget it and ask mm -hmm. you again kind of thing. The thing was, like, in the toaster, she was already at the vegetables. Like, I was like, why is that? She's, like, memorizing my whole order and everything. We got the cash with his shirt. She's like, oh, here you go, you know, something like that. And it's like, you know, like a term of endearment in, uh -huh. in like Latin culture. It's like, ah, oh, it was a ton of fun. And as I was walking out, you know, I, mean, I wasn't sure if uh, it was all just a coincidence or if it all worked, but regardless, it was like my favorite sandwich I've ever ordered. Like, I had a great time. Yeah. And it was fun. And, yeah, cool. Yeah, it was, it was really rewarding to, like, you know, go through it that way. Stop it. Yeah, and and I'm going to suggest that you you, you, take, you learn from from Ryan's example. That's how you can go through the world. I mean, you can you can just walk up, get a, what are the, what states, and that brings us to state growth. What are the predicate states that people need to be in in order to arrive at the state I want them to be in? Because sometimes they can't make the leap. We were, I was talking with Ron today. We were talking about uh, in terms of finance and the spiritual rules that govern finance. Is that sometimes you know if you're here. And the leap you need to make is here in order to get the same result. It's too big, but if you take the same principle and you chunk it down to just slightly outside your comfort zone, it's doable. You, you're willing to make that leap. Your unconscious mind. I mean, it's not stupid. Trust me, it's, it's it's deeply emotional, but it's not stupid. If it knows something is so far outside your comfort range that it just does not believe you can get there, it won't let you take action. It just won't. You'll come up with all kinds of translogic for why you can't do something. But if it's just outside where, oh, it would be really uncomfortable and it really makes me nervous, but we're going to do it, you'll make the leap and you'll create the quantum change in the consciousness level.